Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Today we have another tutorial here. Uh, it's a very simple topic, um, but this is this is a question that I get asked a lot, believe it or not. But uh, it's not a it's, it's not that weird of a question to ask per se. But before we get started, uh, let me just ask you to please go check out the description box. I got a bunch of useful links down there to uh, different playlists that you can watch and practice your C++. You can uh, check out my support page, my Twitter, follow me on there if you want. Drop a like, subscribe if you want as well. Otherwise, let's just get going. So the question is, where and how, like where, where can I create a class and why is it that way? So why do I create a class and can I create a class in a class as well? That's also an a, a important question that I get. And why would I want to do that? Now, there are a few things you can do you can create a class like I did here with the dice class in itself okay now this is separate this is in a separate file like this now we did talk about creating the class just in here in the in any file basically right in any file but the thing is if you ha separate the file you're gonna have to include that file within your main kinda your your core tutorial or your core CPP file where your main is you're gonna have to include make sure everything is included into that file where you're gonna use it right so that's the whole thing with files it's just the same thing it's just that you include it meaning that any code that you wrote in a separate file will be included into uh, into your main file or wherever you choose to include it now the thing with classes and classes is it's the same thing I can create a class dice and I can create a class within that dice if I wanted to Okay, now an example of this would be if I had a class car here, and this is just what I want to show you. I want to create a class car, private, and then we have a public as, as well as usual, and then a car, and then just like that, like this, and maybe a car destructor if I wanted to do that. Um, empty empty and boom there we go now we have a car class now what does a car have within itself now this is where the important part comes in this is where the programmer has to think okay because sometimes you might want to create a car and you want a class for example class wheel okay this is one wheel now this is an example I've used in my other series uh, but it's a good example um, private wheel um, wheel okay so we have a we have two different classes here now what if I don't wanna want the user or the programmer to be able to create a wheel on its own what does a wheel do on its own the wheel is nothing without a car that um, that it's attached to right so the wheel is only created for the car now the thing here is I can create a car car here the compiler is not gonna complain or the computer is not gonna complain I can create a wheel uh, wheel one or whatever car one and wheel one here and the thing is not gonna complain but what am I gonna do with a wheel in its own on its own I don't want to be able to I don't want to give the programmer a way to create a wheel on its own I just want to be able to create a car that's it so what I can do is I can cr take this class wheel Control exit and put it within the class car inside its private function here so if I do a wheel wheel one here it's gonna complain it's gonna say what the hell is wheel there is nothing called wheel outside of the class car now you're like I included car here why and wheel is defined within it why can't I access it that's because the class wheel is now a part of the class car it's under the private section as well all right now you could put it um, in the public section as well and then if you create a wheel uh, wheel it's still gonna be part of the car I think there we go let's just check that out yeah here we go we we do stuff together here we experiment stuff together I, I wasn't hundred percent sure but that's that was what I thought it would be uh, it, it didn't allow me to create the class wheel even if it was under public because it's defined within the class car but what I can do what I can do 
is I can create wheel objects in here. Wheel one, uh, wheel, uh, wheel two, or we'll call them wheel. Um, let's see. Top left, wheel top left. We'll just call him top left. TL, uh, top right. All right, we're just gonna make a simple little class here. Just make four wheels like this: top right, bottom left, um, bottom right. Now this isn't clean code by any means, so please don't be hating on me. And this shouldn't be under the private section. There you go. And usually when I create a class uh, like this with any other class, I just keep everything in the public section. I don't put anything in the private because it's kind of makes it a little annoying. Uh, because it's, we're safe here, right? This is this class is only accessible within the car class, so I'll just keep everything under the public section. Although the car class is accessible to anyone outside, so I'm just gonna have a private and a public section here, okay? And I'm gonna make getters and setters, but for this one, this wheel class, I'm not. So, for example, in the public section, I'm gonna have. I'm also gonna include include a string here, okay? Perfect. And that means that I can create. Uh, uh, what should I say? Uh, std string, or we'll call it int pressure. Maybe I don't know. What does that? What does the wheel have? I guess int pressure. I guess maybe they'll have different pressures. Okay. We'll just whatever. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. And then we'll say int uh, int pressure in here as well. Pressure. Here as well, uh, this pressure equals pressure. So when we create a wheel, uh, we're gonna give it a a pressure uh, variable right here. All right, and to do that, okay, no default constructor. I'm just gonna do this per usual, and I'm gonna say tl. Maybe one. Let's see. Uh, like that. Let's see. Tier one, tr uh, two, bl one, br two. Something like that. Okay, so we initialized all of our wheels um, with these values. Okay, so top left has a pressure of one, two, one, and you know, all that shit. Doesn't matter. The important thing is they have different values. Let me give everything a different value. Now, this car is going to be hella crooked, but that doesn't really matter. So, there you go. So, see how I created a car with wheel objects here? Um, and everything the car is all all the car is gonna do is it's going to be created and then I'm just gonna say make a std string print wheels function here and I'm just gonna define that and I'm gonna say std c out wheels and new line now people usually ask me can I do this can I do the new line in here of course you can you don't have to do a separate new line like I always do like that you can just put it in here if you want to um, and then let's see I put the wheels there and then top left the pressure TL dot pressure and then here I'm gonna do a new line and then we're just gonna copy paste this and we're just gonna get all the pressures to top left top right Whoop, sorry about that I think I just knocked my mic over am I recording yes I am okay so TL TR pressure BL pressure BR pressure and um, bottom left I guess um, bottom Again, I knocked it over. Sorry about that. It's not really, I'm not at home kind of completely. So it's kind of, yeah, well, yeah, that worked. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to do a 
a new line here as well. Uh, and there you go. So I created a car, and I'm just going to do std cout car one dot get. Uh, let's see. Wait. Why isn't that working? Print wheels. Print. What the hell is your problem, man? Car one dot. God damn it, dude. Why are you so annoying right now? Wait, I'm sorry about this, guys. Uh, there we go. Um, car one dot get print wheels. Why is that not working? Uh, there we go. Oh, it has to return it as well. So return. Uh, no, what the hell did I just do? No, that's not what I want to do. No, what the hell am I doing? Okay, we'll just do void here. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. See out. Sorry about that. Um, I had this issue where I had these two empty parentheses. I don't want that. I just want to have the regular car one, car one print wheels. All right, fine, cool. And then print wheels should actually just print all the wheels out. Uh, oh yeah, and I need the I don't need it, but I usually do system pause. If I can spell um, this. Okay, so top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Wheels, boom, boom, boom. We're good. So see how that was a class in a class? Now this might not be the biggest kind of thing in the world for you, but... Uh, yeah, it's kind of important sometimes if you want to keep stuff protected from the outside world, basically. Uh, you just want to create classes with smaller classes in them. You can create structs in here as well if you wanted to struct uh, engine like this. And then you can do a bunch of stuff in here. Structs would be better for this, but yeah, it depends on what you want to do. I, I usually use classes because they, they have all this extra public private stuff and uh, all the functions and stuff but it's cool do it as uh, do it as you want you can do this in a separate file as well I could create this class object the whole car thing everything in CPP file um, and then H file so so I could just include this if I wanted to just like we did with the dice class so don't worry you can you can do it just like you can create these uh, classes just like regular classes that's what I'm trying to say thanks for watching thanks for all the support sorry about not haven't made these videos earlier. I haven't really been working on the tutorial series that much, but I'm I'm looking into finishing it uh, kind of quickly, and then adding some stuff to it as we go along whenever required. Right. So if you ever wonder anything, just please tell me, and I'll try to make a video on that uh, because I don't know exactly everything that I should make a video on. So I really appreciate all the support, all the nice comments where people tell me and request stuff. So I'm really I'm really happy. Thanks for showing interest. Mm, check out the description box if you can like I said in the beginning a uh, bunch of useful stuff down there support page Twitter follow me there if you want drop a like subscribe if you want thank you so much for watching keep learning work hard and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one alright bye bye